Think back to when you were seven years old. What'd you dream about? Did second grade you believe you could be anything? A firefighter, an astronaut, even president. Maybe you dreamt of being a professional athlete. DJ Peters did. Yeah, actually he said that when he was seven. He said he, was, he came home and said he's gonna be a professional baseball player. And, and in the same sentence, he said he's gonna play for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And like any parent, I told him, you know, son, you can do and be whatever you wanna be. Just work hard at it. The Glendora native, who grew up 40 miles east of Dodger Stadium, fell early for the team he dreamt of one day playing for. Became a Dodgers fan ever since, you know, I picked up the ball. Um, my my grandfather, really big Dodgers fan, um, grew up watching, you know, Tom Lasorda and, you know, all those guys. So um, my very first game was a Dodgers Diamondbacks game. Um, I still remember it to this day. And kind of watching Sean Green hit, you know, four home runs over in Milwaukee was, you know, one of one of the main reasons why he was my favorite player. You know, growing up as a six, seven year old kid, um, watching, you know, one guy hit four home runs in one game um, is very historical. Number one, and then number two, you know, you. Every every little kid likes to hit home runs, and you know him him hitting four was like one of those things. Where it was like, okay, like he's my favorite player now. He had Sean Green bats and all of his cards, and these were things that you just didn't touch. Uh, the bat usually stayed up on his top bunk. It you know didn't didn't get floated around the house. The second oldest of seven children, DJ thrived in the SoCal lifestyle. The West Coast is where it's at. I mean, personally, um, I love the beach. Um, I love just you know being around how like you know you can go to the beach and then also to the snow in the same day. Um, the weather is usually perfect, 75, 80. Um, it's a lot of fun here. I love yeah. it. After high school, Peters went east to Nevada for community college. As a junior with a pending commitment to Cal State Fullerton, DJ got his call in the fourth round. You were drafted twice before the Dodgers, once with the Cubs and then once with the Rangers. Said no to both, and then the Dodgers call you. Were you expecting that call? What's so funny is because I was actually not even watching the draft. Um, you know, I told myself for the third time um, that I'm not going to watch it, I'm not going to follow it, um, and, and I'm just going to wait for the phone call. So I was actually at my sister's um, ultrasound, uh, 4D ultrasound. We were all inside the room. We, me and him were in the corner, kind of on our phones, and they called his name, and I said, hold on, everyone, listen. And everyone was like, what is that? And then they said it again, and everyone just kind of, it was, it was awesome. Being around those people, um, my entire family, you know, with, you know, Braylon on the way, my, my little niece was, uh, was amazing for sure. The seven-year-old's dream became reality at 21. A dream come true, honestly. 29 other teams could have picked me this year, and, you know, I could have signed two years prior, but, you know, it just wasn't the right fit for me. So the SoCal kid headed east this time to Ogden for rookie ball, where he shined, making a name for himself and getting attention for more than just his natural talent. The whole hair thing, it was funny. Um, so my, in high school, I've, I've always had short hair, always, always had short hair. And then um, my freshman year of college, I kind of grew it out, but then uh, I cut it short again. And then um, when I got drafted, uh, my second, my second time getting drafted, I kind of just let it go. I love it. I mean, he, he needs a trim, but for the most part, um, it's always good to have a, a golden retriever on the team. He seemed to like it, and like I said earlier, the chicks dig it. DJ began his second pro season in High A, just 20 miles from his hometown, but that local fame comes at a price. Sometimes it can cause a scene. Like one, we went and it was like Justin Bieber showed up. It was ridiculous. But I, it was cool at the same time. And again, DJ with his pan for 35 minutes, he's missing the sister's game. He's up here sliding with these 13 year old girls as well. I mean, it was awesome. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid like that, I would want somebody to stop, you know? So, um, you know, like me, me stopping for five minutes isn't really gonna, you know, hinder my day at all. You know, it, it definitely means something a little bit extra special to have that proximity. You know, I, I think that just knowing just the affinity, how much he loves Southern California, how much he loves the Dodgers, I mean, it, it's, it, it's got to be a very, very special feeling for him to be able to put on the, the Dodger blue every day. He was seven. His dad told him what every parent does, and he followed that dream. It kind of just feels like I was fit to be here for like a little bit of time and, you know, like play for Los Angeles Dodgers has always been the goal, and um, I felt like I was born to do that. To, to see him out there would be being able to see him live his dream. Just watching him in the freeway series was enough. Uh, just the, the, the smile on his face, you know what I mean? It's just, for a parent, 
to be able to see that smile, it's, it, words can't really even say much. When you were seven years old, what did you dream about? Did you believe you could be anything? Maybe a firefighter, an astronaut, president, or maybe a professional athlete? DJ did.